everyone, I'm Katherine Desina Saplin and welcome to Book Discuss, where I read essays from the book They Only Laughed Later and share my own experiences living abroad. This week we're discussing Things Were Made Of by Patricia S. Roberts. So this is one of the reasons why I don't like essays because it's formal writing and it's normally short. If you can't do it well, it just comes off as very, um, like just unrelatable. Like I'm sure that the woman who wrote this is delightful and wonderful, but reading this I just got the impression that she was materialistic and despite actually understanding where she's coming from and what she wanted to say, the essay just did not connect with me because I wanted to just hit her upside the head and say stop being a consumeristic materialistic person. The essay discusses the emotional attachment that we have to things. I understand where she's coming from to a certain extent but she took it in a way that <sighs> I hate to be negative because it feels like I'm just tearing down this woman but like I think she might have a problem because when she was moving she was talking about how she had to bring all these magazines. I can understand having issues letting go. Okay little side note. I know some people who have moved abroad. They have paid thousands of dollars to have all their furniture and all the stuff that they accumulated in their life shipped over to their host country. This might be like a personal decision. You know, you do you, you have to figure out what works for you. But at least for me, that seems really stupid for a multitude of reasons because first of all specifically if you're coming from America things are bigger and the size does not convert. I think that even if I wanted to bring furniture or something from back home to France for example that would have just been ridiculously stupid. My mattress would not have been able to go up the stairs to the second floor. It just wouldn't. In fact when we got our box springs it came in two pieces because the architecture in France is just different. Like even in Belgium even though we have a wonderful staircase where you can easily take things up, this room where I shoot videos there's a door here. Really if you look at it it's like why is there a door on the second floor but it's there so that if you have bigger pieces of furniture you can get this special lift so that you can get them to the second floor because you may not be able to get them up through the stairs and that's something that's actually relatively common when you live in Europe. You, you will see this sometimes when people are moving that they'll, they'll have this lift where they're lifting furniture up to the second floor through a window because they can't get it up the stairs and I'm just thinking of all the crap that I had that didn't come in pieces that there's no way that it would get up to the second floor. Even in Belgium we've noticed that rooms are smaller here than in France and that's sort of been problematic with some of the furniture that we have because it's we just don't have enough room for it in our bedrooms and I really can't imagine spending all that money to have it shipped over to your host country just to find out that none of it fits because then you're sort of in a situation where you need to find a place that fits your furniture. It's much easier to just buy a house and sort of get pieces that fit into the house. Of course that's specifically talking about furniture. You know I can understand like food and medication were like the two things that whenever I went home I would stock up and bring it over to France. But those are the only things that I can think of and some like food items like in the beginning I was really into pop tarts. I always have jello. You can't find jello over here. And that's been my experience of wanting things from my home country. But as the years have gone on I found that there's fewer and fewer things that I want because I've just sort of gotten used to not having them. I think in general if you want to be an expat you have to sort of be willing to let your crap go. Yeah I don't know I really can't offer my opinion without going on some long rambly rant. I don't know just I, I feel like I know where she was coming from but at the same time focus 
on building relationships, learning new skills, because if you go to a foreign country and you're more worried about like being able to get your magazines, like you're probably going to be perpetually unhappy because you're not going to have access to those magazines and you're going to isolate yourself and you're not going to have a good time. So yeah. And not only that, but your new host country probably has magazines that you could read and you'd be killing two birds with one stone because you'd have entertainment that you enjoy and you'd be working on your target language. Anywho, that's what I have for you and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Like, are there certain things that you have that you really can't live without? Are they big things? Are they little things? Would you consider shipping your whole life to another country and what would your cutoff price point be? Because there was a time when I considered that and looked into it and then I saw the price and I was like, nope, I'll just buy new furniture. It'll be cheaper. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say because your stories always inspire me and just normally bring a smile to my face. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out my book discuss playlist where you can see me sharing my opinion about other essays from this book. Give thanks to the YouTube algorithm gods by giving this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. They don't care, just interact with my video, it'll help. And if you'd like to support this channel, then share this video with your friends, family, strangers on the internet because that also helps. If you're new here, be sure to hit the red button to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and just come back on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays because that's when I release new videos and YouTube may not want to tell you. All my social links have been left in the description below for your convenience. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and I keep a blog where I keep the conversation going. I've had people, person, tell me it's amazing, so I'm not biased when I tell you to go there, else you're missing out. That's what I have for you guys this week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Tootsines, may apple zines. I find it difficult to even think of something that I really miss from back home, except the keyboard, which seems so random, but there's nothing worse than when you have to type something and you're there, where's the comma? Or where's the at button? Because it's not where it's supposed to be on the keyboard.